Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna do something a little bit different I'm gonna go over these patch notes and give you guys my opinions on all these changes uh, Normally, I wouldn't do this. I usually just play the game and we'll go from there But this is such a big change and I feel like I want to talk about it. I really do It's very meta defining lots of big changes character changes weapon changes uh, some controversial changes especially from the eyes of a console player I know that lots of console players are seeing some of these changes and they're like "Ew, what's happening you know so I kind of want to I want to go into detail with some of these things um, if you want to read the patch notes for yourself the link is in the description feel free um, I played all day today first and foremost just so I'm not ignorant and blind going into this so I've actually played on this patch quite a bit and I'm gonna have some gameplay with, uh, of Gibraltar in the background and then I'll play a second game as well But without further ado, let's get right into it. So Since you're watching some Gibraltar gameplay, let's start off Gibraltar and Caustic Both of them received a new passive ability. Sorry an additional passive ability. It's called Fortify So what happens is they take reduced damage by 10% So essentially they get more health without actually getting more health, okay? Uh, on top of that, Caustic and Gibraltar got some more changes too, but I want to show you a clip in the background right now where I'm playing Gibraltar and the 10% damage reduction actually saved me. I didn't think that I was going to be this noticeable, but as you can see, the health that I'm left with after this fight, this 10%, it literally saved me. So that was pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily uh, meta-defining to pick Gibraltar or Caustic now, but... The 10% definitely helps, especially because they have a bigger hitbox, so a lot easier to hit. It'll be really helpful when you're just roaming the map and you're out in the open. If you start taking some shots, I mean, sometimes it was really easy just to laser a Gibraltar or a Caustic, right? At least now they'll have an extra second to, to react, basically. I mean, 10% doesn't sound like a lot, but it really is. It's almost like getting another full shot into them. So it's, it's really good. It's really good. Um, on top of that... Caustic also received uh, gas damage per tick increased by one to four. So a little bit more damage there and he can throw them a little bit farther, his gas canister. So kind of cool. I mean, not, not massive, but kind of cool. And then Gibraltar's gun shield actually increased another 25 health from 50 to 75, which is another good one. Honestly, I feel like Gibraltar is going to be in a really good, really good place. I mean, Here's the thing, man. People play these characters as if they're all the same, right? So you'll see people playing really aggressive with Octane or Pathfinder, for example. You can't really do that with Gibraltar. Gibraltar's got a different play style, right? You can still be a really good Gibraltar, and you may not necessarily get, you know, 15, 20 kills a game or anything like that, but you can still be a force in, in the game. You just got to play them a little bit differently. So Gibraltar and Caustic, they're definitely got their own spot I don't I don't really care for the changes for cost or for uh, yeah for caustic sorry I don't really care for the changes the gas canister changes or anything like that but it is what it is no biggie so that's the first changes to the to the heroes now this is the big one this is where things uh, kind of get a little controversial we're gonna start with the the lesser and then we'll work to the end right so First and foremost, let's get into the sniper rifles, if you want to call them sniper rifles, I guess. Uh, the G7 Scout, the Triple Take, and the Longbow, uh, they actually do more damage from the waist down. Beforehand, you would see a 25% reduction in damage. Now it's only 10%, which is really nice. Uh, I feel like, personally, that is an amazing change. Amazing change. The snipers in this game are very underwhelming. Um you're not using it kind of like as an individual i guess you kind of can i don't know everything's all situational but i do find that if you do hit shots like if you're hitting consistent shots and you're hitting from the waist down i mean it's very underwhelming so it's really nice especially for the scout um now the longbow has additional changes on top of that increased fire rate now this is one of the big ones man i love sniping you guys know i love sniping that's kind of what this whole channel was based around prior to apex was sniping and I, increased fire rate, uh, incredible. Uh, on top of that, increased magazine size, once again, perfect. So if you if you get a, uh, a purple extended mag on a longbow, you now have 12 rounds. Uh, the base went from five to six. So really good, absolutely really good. It'll feel more, more like a DMR now rather than a, an actual sniper. It didn't do the damage of a sniper, but it felt like a sniper, you know what I mean? So the longbow buff, 
love it absolutely amazing that's about as far as the snipers go there's some sway changes in there uh, a few other minor buffs uh but yeah that's basically it havoc now i'm not a big fan of the havoc i think after this i'm definitely going to be a fan of the havoc you'll see you'll be seeing lots of videos of the havoc for sure uh increased base magazine size from 25 to 32 thank lord oh my goodness this is one of the biggest problems that i had i love it i love it uh the, the thing that i found with the havoc is that if you didn't have a turbocharger it really sucked trying to charge your shots right especially if you only had 25 so like if i was in a fight i would try to like pre-charge it almost so like i would anticipate where my enemy is going to be i would charge it beforehand and sometimes i would shoot you know four or five bullets before i even saw the enemy and then i would start shooting and it wouldn't be enough in the mag to to finish them off that's with no turbocharger so with the extra seven bullets in a round i mean that's going to be really nice uh also if you if you like the select fire on the havoc <laughs> really good changes for you too uh reduced cost per shot from five to four so not only do you have increased rounds but the cost per shot is down as well so that's really nice um they increase the damage which is phenomenal i can't believe that they increase the damage i i, I didn't expect them to increase damage for sure by the way this is with the charge beam this isn't just the, the actual gun this is with the select fire this is the single shot uh so increase damage with that which is amazing so you can shoot it more you can shoot it more frequently and it does more damage it'll actually feel useful so that's fantastic uh on top of that the gold havoc now has the turbocharger rather than the select fire which i like a lot better too i i i would never pick up a gold havoc just because it had the select fire i don't care for it personally but having the turbocharger on it probably be picking that thing up uh while we're on topic of gold weapons too the 301 uh the site has changed as well it's got the one times uh one times two times variable i believe and then the wingman actually has a digital threat which is kind of funny because the wingman video i just uploaded like last week i said in that video that i don't like picking up gold wingmans just because i don't like the site on it and now i was like it should have a digital threat like it's crazy that it doesn't have a digital threat and now they change it and it has a digital threat so it's, i like it i like it a lot all right now into the meat and potatoes of uh these changes these are the big ones okay so the wingman we're gonna we're gonna start with that uh reduce magazine size so beforehand if you picked up a wingman just a naked wingman no extended mags you would have six rounds in a magazine now if you pick up a wingman you're gonna have four rounds in a magazine uh if you put an an epic a purple extended mag on it you're gonna have 10 rather than 12 so lower the magazine size uh i kind of feel like it's it's not a bad change necessarily i know lots of people are thinking that it's a horrible change right like i i guess to the casual audience and you know to the people that don't have all day to play the video games i understand it uh you probably won't be picking up a wingman as often if at all but if you're a really good player and you are really precise in your shots the wingman is still going to be really strong i mean don't kid yourself don't don't write it off completely especially if let's say you land and you find a skull piercer and even if you don't find extended mags honestly uh we'll just pretend like there's no extended mags let's just say you found a skull piercer and then a couple minutes later you pick up a wingman i would still rock it i i think the wingman is still really strong i mean depending on what armor and helmet the enemy has you can still two hit people with a wingman i mean two shots out of the four if you don't have extended mags if you're hitting your shots that's still pretty good you know what i mean so depending on if you like it or not you might want to consider searching for some heavy mags beforehand depending on what kind of player you are so if you plan on using a wingman now you you almost got to kind of plan for it you know what i mean so if you see extended mags and a skull piercer you might want to hang on to them in your inventory for a wingman later on in the game just so you can use it right um that's kind of that's kind of all i got to say about that uh i know it's kind of controversial lots of people think that it's bad now or don't pick it up at all but man i'm not gonna lie i i still like it and i i don't see a problem with it to be honest i don't know lots of people might have a problem with that but ah, just hit your shots you know what i mean you just gotta hit your shots i think the wingman is still gonna be really good but it is what it is now let's talk about the spitfire up until today i i genuinely believe the spitfire was a do-it-all weapon the spitfire is arguably the best weapon in the game but in a different way 
So the Spitfire is basically good at everything, but it's not the best at everything. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a jack of all trades type of weapon. You could use it for long range, close range, medium range. You had ridiculous amounts of ammo. Like if, if you were messing up, missing shots, it didn't matter because you still had another 30 in the magazine, right? So let's talk about the changes. Reduced base damage from 20 to 18. So not a massive change. Still going to be a really strong weapon. Uh, the magazine extender attachments reduced. So this means when you get extended mags for the Spitfire, you're going to receive less ammo. So the base isn't changed. When you pick up a Spitfire, you still have 35 rounds in a magazine. The only time it's changed is when you pick up extended mags, you're going to have less. So w beforehand, if you picked up a purple extended mag for a Spitfire, you would have 60 rounds. Now you're going to only have 55. Not a big deal. So if you're a fan of the Spitfire, I wouldn't be concerned with these nerfs whatsoever. The Spitfire is still going to be ridiculously strong. Um, basically, the thing with the Spitfire is that it lowers the skill ceiling. So it gives players that aren't as good at the game or aren't as good at aiming an opportunity to keep up. That's the type of gun that the Spitfire is. Um, in my opinion, I, I think that the Spitfire needs a little bit more of a nerf. I think it does need more recoil. I think it needs to be harder to control. It is a heavy machine gun, and the recoil is so easy to control on it. Uh, I feel like that it, it, it needs a little bit more of a nerf, but, it, you know, I, I don't really care too much. <laughs> I find myself, if I'm, dying to a, if I'm dying to a player, most of the time, it's because it's a Spitfire. Uh, the thing with the Spitfire is that it, it gives, there's a lot of room for error. You know what I mean? you can basically wipe a team if you're a really good player and you can just mow people down from one target to the next to the next you can just mow people down and if you're not a very good player there's so much room for error that if you're missing shots it doesn't matter because you have another 30 in the magazine before you even have to reload right so once again if you're a fan of the spitfire i wouldn't be concerned whatsoever it's still very strong if you're a fan of the wingman uh if you're good and you can hit your shots again i wouldn't be concerned about it because you're supposed to be aiming high with the with the wingman anyways, you know, aim high, hit the heads, you're still going to be really good with the wingman. And if you are a little bit, you know, self-conscious or you're not confident about your shots with the wingman, then all you need to do is collect, collect your attachments that you want for it and kind of plan ahead, you know what I mean? So I, I'm, I'm interested to see where the meta really goes with this. I'm really excited to be using the Havoc. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to be picking up the Havoc a lot more. I never did. Uh, I'm probably gonna be picking up a lot more and I'm gonna be I'm gonna probably do some videos with some of these weapons I'll probably do something with the wingman like the nerfed wingman Maybe I'll do a video without uh, using extended mags just to show you guys that it is possible to still use it and do do really well with it um, But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this is kind of a weird video for me because I never I never talk about this I just talked over my gameplay, so it's it's a little bit awkward for me, but Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. I want to hear your thoughts too. If you if you like these changes, if you know you don't like these changes, if you disagreed with my thoughts, I'm interested in hearing it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video.